Hey everybody, it's John Skiba from the Consumer Warrior Project. I'm also an attorney at the Arizona Consumer Law Group uh, in Mesa, Arizona. And on today's video, I wanted to touch on a question that I get on a surprisingly regular basis. And the concern by a lot of people is that if they do not pay their debts, particularly their credit card debts, that they may end up in jail. And the reason why this is kind of surprising is because debtors' prisons were outlawed in the United States back in 1833, so quite a while ago. But the reason why I think that this myth perpetuates that people can go to jail for not paying their debts is because the debt collectors out there often will threaten this when they contact people to try to get payment. Uh, it's routine that I hear the debt collectors are telling people, hey, if you don't pay this debt, we're going to send someone to pick you up. You know, they try to be clever in the way that they approach that. Or they'll even tell them outright, hey, we're going to have somebody come pick you up and take you to jail for not paying this. So in the U.S., you cannot go to jail for not paying your debts with some rare exceptions. And I wanted to go over those uh, because they're kind of important. But you should know the general rule is if you're not paying your debts, if you're in a situation you can't pay your credit cards or medical bills or whatever types of debts it is, you're not going to go to jail over that. So you don't need to worry about that. The times when you can get in trouble for not paying your debts is if, let's say, a credit card company sues you, they get a judgment against you, and then in Arizona they can set up something called a judgment debtor's exam. This is where the judge subpoenas you or orders you to come in to the court and to talk to the creditor about your assets so they can start collecting on this. If you don't show up to that hearing, then you're in contempt of court. So you're in violation of a court order to show up and disclose your assets. And because of that, they can issue what's called a civil arrest warrant. A civil arrest warrant is different than a criminal arrest warrant. Uh, a civil arrest warrant is basically if you're driving around and you get pulled over for speeding or you run a stop sign or something like that, the policeman will see that you have a civil arrest warrant and they can take you in at that point. In Arizona, they do actually do that. But this is far different than just being arrested for not uh, paying your debts. What you would be arrested for in that situation is if you be ignored the court order, if you're in contempt of that court order, and so the court's requiring you to come in uh, based upon that. The other exception are taxes. If you're purposefully not paying uh, your taxes to the IRS, uh, that is considered a crime at some point and you could end up doing jail time if you are intentionally not paying taxes and trying to evade that. But again, those two exceptions to the rule are very rare and when it comes to your typical credit cards, medical bills, things like that, you are not going to jail over that. And not only that, if a creditor threatens that to you, that is a violation of a law called the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, called the FDCPA. This is a federal statute that governs the way debt collectors can interact with you as they're trying to collect on a debt. And one of the things they can't do is they can't tell you something that's not true. So if they're threatening to put you in jail or to pick you up, uh, those types of things are not true because they can't do that. That's a violation of the FDCPA. And now the tables will likely be turned because now you likely have a claim against that debt collector. If you want to learn more about uh, possible FDCPA violations, about how to deal with debt problems, debt settlement, bankruptcy, head on over to our website at consumerwarrior.com. We have hundreds of articles there, more videos, an audio podcast, all of it designed to give you information to help you make intelligent decisions when it comes to your debts. So thanks for watching today. And